my own self, I would do it for that, I would do it for that. Yes, it's true. <laughs>
the school. You guys all go to school here? Yes. 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 You guys like going to school here? Yes. yes. You guys love the food here? Yes. yes. But I didn't try it. <laughs> I didn't try it. You didn't try the food? No. You've been going to school here for how many years? Oh, I thought you mean in here. Oh! <laughs> See, kids take things literally. Yeah. Literally. I was in New York and I told my daughter on the way I caught you the paper because I was see what they voted me, what they voted about me in the paper. But because you know from the media, they can do yeah. whatever they want. Yeah. And I know that I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Round and the second one is. <laughs> okay, not the question. Wish. If you can have a wish, anything you want, what would your wish be? You hold that thought. I'm gonna you. What would your wish be? Protection against anything. Protection against anything. That's a smart kid. So if something attacks me. It won't harm me. Oh, very good. And once, what, what's one way you can get protection? One way you can ask for Allah for protection is maybe? Dua. Dua, mashallah. And that's it? You can have any wish. What would your wish be? What can you, if you would have one thing, what would it be? A baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You're looking at me. 
I'm not saying that again. Okay, now tell them what's the one wish. If you didn't ask any wish, what wish would it be? To bless my family. To bless your family. I got some golf. You have to wait for the microphone. Okay. No, I have some golf. Okay. I said golf. Oh, golf. Okay. Yes. Golf. That's golf. Okay. Ashil, what's your favorite? I'll come this way so you look in the microphone. What is your favorite thing about middle school? Um, playing with my friend. You play with your friends? Yes. Uh, so you know anything you say, everyone's going to do this. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know, I know. Okay, I'm back. Oh, you're back? Yep. Okay. What's your favorite thing? Uh, the teachers. The teachers? Yes. Oh. Every teacher like A plus. Yes. We <laughs> want kids. We want kids. Okay. What about you? Arabic language, so I can talk in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> are you planning to go to South Arabia soon? Yes. You are? What are you planning to go to South Arabia? Eighth grade? Eighth grade, mashallah. <laughs> and what are you planning to do there? Speak Arabic? Yes. Yes? And what else are you going to do other than uh, speak Arabic? Get a job. Teach. Teach? Where do I get a job? And get a job. Yes? Yeah? <laughs> so you're going to go eighth grade? And teach and speak Arabic. Very special, also. And, and live there for three you? years. I like that. I like the way that we learn about Islam. Oh, mashallah. And you? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I like recess. You like recess. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You made a wonderful audience. <laughs> I feel more comfortable now. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. You see, you have a whole audience here, all here looking at you guys. Is anyone nervous here? Can anyone raise their hands who's nervous? Uh, I'm kind of nervous. Two of you nervous? Who's totally okay? Raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, wah, I can do this all day. Mashallah. Okay. Let's jump to another question. I'm gonna pick a random question out here. Let's see what you guys say. Bob, <laughs> out of here look at the screen. Wow, well, they're getting at me. Okay. I wanna ask you guys an honest question, and I want an honest answer. <laughs> do you guys ever get angry? No, I do, I do. You get angry. So tell me, what, what do you do when you get angry? <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to recess, right? <laughs> Zainab, what about you? I scream. No, I, I scream. I, you scream when you get angry. No, I scream. <laughs> oh, I think it's ice cream when you get angry. Okay. No, I, I, you make me hungry, I okay. Scream. Anna, what about you? Sleep. You sleep when you get angry. <laughs> Three things. 
I'm almost afraid to ask, but Asil, what about you? What do you do when you get angry? I can imagine you get angry. You get angry, actually? No. You don't get angry. <laughs> You're calm. Yes. Mashallah. So this question does not pertain to you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm angry. She's the most cool, chill, relaxed. Ask any question you want. Bring all the questions. I can answer all. And you, my friend, what is your... Oh, I'll come over here so you can look at them. When you get angry, what do you do? Well, sometimes I... Sometimes uh, I... Sometimes I ask what I want to get there. I, you, and what happens when you don't get what you want? Uh, I, I, I tell, like, I sometimes I tell, I tell, I tell my mother or father or wh whatever adult is all around, like that. You tell them, I'm angry. Yeah, no. Like, you tell them, I'm not angry. No. 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 I tell them, like, this, this person or this person is like that. They're, like, not bothering me like that. Back to okay. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. I'm gonna see a lot of things like Sopanga, you kids are amazing. Sometimes you think kids don't understand you or don't understand what you and your wife are speaking about. And they sometimes are picking up things faster than you expect. I actually get in trouble. And this is another true story. I only talk about true stories. My daughter, it was time for, I think it was Maghrib or Asr. And I was at home. And I told my daughter, I said, usually when I say, when I read the Iqamah, she runs and prays with me. But this day, she was just playing with her toys or doing something. And I said, Amina, Amina, come. It's time for Salah. And she looks at me. And she says, just continues doing her toys or whatever. Amina, it's time for Salah. And her, her mom says, I'm going to go pray, pray with Baba. I said, no, it's okay. I'd rather play. And she said, why? Because Baba said it's not far for me. It's not obligatory for me to pray. And until I become a grown-up, it's only obligatory for him. So therefore, I will continue playing. <laughs> so what happened is my wife's like, you see what you've done to her? Her mentality is, Baba, I have Jannah until I get to puberty so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and my wife said this, you teach her everything? I said, sometimes we're talking, she just picks this stuff up. So I want to understand how much you guys are picking up here. Is there keys? Today, they had a fundraiser, right? Yes. Yeah. So I want to ask you guys, what is a fundraiser? What is fundraising? <laughs> so let's go one by one. You know what fundraising is? What do you think it is? <laughs> He's meowing still. Then what is a fundraiser? Yeah. You have fun raising money. We have fun raising money. I'm sure Sarah Rahat's gonna tell money. you how much fun he did. <laughs> <coughs> yes, it's, there's you put he puts the fun in fundraising, mashallah. What about you? Funds is like the money and raising you raise the money to like make like buy the new al Oh, very good. Or mashallah. build al Huda taller. So the school can get taller? Yeah. And what happens when the school gets taller? It goes all the way to university. <laughs> goes up the person. So when the school's at this height, you're like, wow, it's a kindergarten. Then it becomes a middle school, then it becomes high school. And when it becomes a university, how high do you have to look? Uh, ha ha ha. I guess like guy. Sky, skyscraper. Like, yes. And that's a, what is a fundraiser? We, we, we play in the moon bounce. <laughs> you, you play the moon bounce? <laughs> Fundraiser, right? Yes. Is it fun to go to fundraisers? Yes. Do you do a lot of jumping? Yes. So when everyone's upstairs and or in daycare and stuff like that, you think the parents are here doing jumping? No. No? What are they doing? Rafi. Look at this. Where, where do you think we put the moonwalks? The moon bouncers? For, for, for kids. For the kids. Okay. 
And what about you? What is fundraising? A fundraising is when uh, uh, some uh, people organize a dinner to raise funds for a school or anything else and to support it and not make it close down. MashaAllah. Very good. <laughs> If Al Huda raises the amount of money that it needs to expand, what difference does it make for you guys? How big of a how big of a change is it for you guys? Zainab, can we start with you? What does it mean to you guys if Al Huda gets to raise their money? What if the parents here we can somehow raise the money tonight? Because there's some people that give in secret. If they can raise them enough money that they need, what does it mean to you? It means that Al Huda is becoming a bigger community. Uh huh. And Al Huda is spreading the word of Islam. Uh huh. And how important is that for you? It's important so everybody can go to Jannah. <laughs> So may I ask you a favor? Can you make dua for everybody that, that gave tonight, please? And for all those who made the intention to give? Yes. Inshallah. Are you thinking about your answer? No? OK, we'll see. <laughs> hey, what is your answer? That really mean, that means that there will be better, uh, better chances of education. Uh -huh. And more chances of learning, uh -huh. and more teachers, uh -huh. and it, it might can be one of the uh, one of the be uh, the best uh, schools in America. Inshallah. So now I'm gonna ask you guys a different question. Com mm. Completely left field. Is it about cheese? Any question? Yay. If you guys answer my question, I'll tell you guys a funny story. How's that? Okay. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. I'm going to ask a secret question to ask you guys to really get the chance to know you. If there's one thing that you're really scared of as a kid, if you're five years old or eight years old, what are you scared of? A monster. A monster? <laughs> and where are these monsters? Did they do this? No, I don't like it. <laughs> what are you scared of? I'm, you? A, I'm afraid that I'm gonna go to hellfire. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And what are you afraid of? I'm still thinking. He's still thinking. You seem so calm. Are you afraid of anything? No. Are you scared of anything? No. Do I scare you? If I play pick a boom, I'm like That makes you laugh? <laughs> no. <laughs> are you scared of anything? Yes. What are you scared of? Getting HIV. Do you read a lot of medical journal medical journals or something? Yeah. A lot of medical journals. You read a lot of med medical. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm no. a doctor. Okay. What do you? <laughs> you were gonna say something. You made a notion. Yes. Dogs. You're you're scared of dogs? Dogs. 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 <laughs> you're scared of them chasing you? <laughs> no. If they're just standing still, I'm still scared. Okay. But you're not scared of, are you scared of me? I don't know. <laughs> what if I stand still? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Inshallah, inshallah. When you meet Allah on the day of judgment, when you meet Allah on the day of judgment, 
What do you want to ask them? If there's any question that you can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you meet him on day of judgment, I wonder what a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, what question would you guys want to ask them? Can I get a raise of hand? Does anyone know? First of all, yes, Zainab, what's your question? Why is the earth round? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. You were in the space zone. You were thinking something else, deep thoughts, right? <laughs> What question would you want to ask? Is there a question that's in your mind that you, you I know you were like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the question? <laughs> <laughs> you know what the question is? Okay, hold that thought. We'll come right back to you. <laughs> so do you have a question that you may want to ask? No. No? Yes. <laughs> Ahmad, do you have a question? Yes. What's your question? Why, why doesn't space have air, and why is gravity created? <laughs> mashallah. Look at the mind. What it's thinking. And how old are you again? Eight. Eight. Mashallah. Okay. And you have a question as well? Mm, I don't think. Uh, no. Yes. What is your question? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I personally, and I'll tell you my story before, I have uh, two daughters. I live in a community where we don't have many Muslims at all. We don't even have an Islamic school. We have small masjids, but they're only open for the daily salah, and there's only maybe a handful of people in there. Jumma, and you get people, of course, during Ramadan and for Tarawih. But we don't have an Islamic school like you guys have. And like the Imam was saying earlier, until you see something, like a man who didn't have feet, then you realize, wow, I wish, I, I, you take it for granted, until you see somebody that has, doesn't have what you have. Something simple. My mother called me about three, four days ago, and she told me I have lost my sense of smell. I cannot smell anymore. I have, and she told me, I, I, I was, she never told me this, and this is the first time she told me, she told me about three days ago. And she told me, I've, I realized I've lost it for the last eight months, I cannot smell anything. And this one thing she had her whole life is gone. And in the many times, even myself, I've taken that for granted almost basically my whole life. Oftentimes, sometimes when I make dua, I make dua for, because I see people who are blind or deaf, I make dua that, oh Allah, Jazakallah khair, I mean, alhamdulillah for the eyes I have, alhamdulillah for the ears I have. But I never even think about the small things, the small things that we take for granted. Sense of smell. And you guys, subhanAllah, you have a Muslim community and an Islamic center. That, and this is your center right here. This, the youth is your center. I don't have a center for my kids, and so therefore, I don't put them in public school, and I have no choice but to put them in homeschooling for my wife. We, that's our decision we chose. But if we have an Islamic school, we'll definitely put them in an Islamic school. So don't take your Islamic school for granted. So, let's, let's ask you a couple more questions and we'll let you guys go. Does that sound good? No. No. No, yes. no I like it here. I don't want you guys to stay here too long, then you guys will get bored. No. You know, one question I always think to myself is like this. Kids love pizza. Who loves pizza? Can I raise their hands, please? Pizza? Please pass raise your hand. What is pizza? What is pizza? Wait, no, pizza. Who likes pizza? Oh, I like pizza. You don't like pizza? I thought you said pita. <laughs> you don't like pizza? No. For the three people who like pizza, who can eat pizza every day? Me? No, I don't know. Look how fast they are. Even the kids are not on stage, their hands go up. So my question, this is a personal question I want to ask you guys. How can you eat pizza every day? Because you like it? Because it's yummy? Yes, Ahmed? If you, if you eat pizza every day, that will be your daily routine, then you'll always keep doing it. Okay. <laughs> and you, uh, you 
There's actually two things I want to say. Uh, first, say my name, which I like. Okay. And uh, if you you just take a little amount each day. Okay. So you, you've been quiet for a while. Do you have anything you want to tell us? No. No. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Now I'll share my story that I promised I would share. My daughter, you guys, mashallah, even have a karate class here. Uh. My daughter also wants to. <laughs> <laughs> we well, did karate punches or something? Punch. You're doing a karate kick? <laughs> <laughs> Is he in the karate class? <laughs> There's a karate kick going on over here. Okay. My daughter wants to go to karate class. And she knows like the Roku is for is in the position that we do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So she said, Baba, I'll take karate class. She said, this is the age of six. I'll take karate class, but I won't bow. I said, okay, Amina. So she went to karate class and then she did the whole thing and said, Baba, I didn't bow, I didn't bow. And her younger sister, at the age of four, Baba, she didn't bow, she didn't bow. She didn't bow. <laughs> so the younger one's name is Hanifa. And Hanifa doesn't like karate. You know, she likes playing with babies, she likes ballet, she likes that kind of stuff. So she went to ballet class, and again, we're the only Muslims in this entire area. And my wife is the only hijabi of all the women who are watching the class. They went to ballet class, and the teacher was telling all of them to do something. And at the very end, the teacher would say, okay, everyone bow. And you know, kids in ballet, they bow like this. They don't do ruku. And Hanifa's like this, no, I will not bow. No, mama, I will not shush. We only bow for Allah. And my wife's like, oh man, they think I'm teaching her this stuff. And then my wife's like, okay, 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 Hanifa, but they understand. No, no, they don't understand. Mrs., I, I don't know, her name was Mrs. Miller. So she's like, we only bow for Allah. And then the teacher's like, okay, okay, she's ignoring them. You know, sometimes little kids will do stuff and you just ignore them, you continue. And the kids will continue the lesson and the plan. And then they, they bow. And I mean, Hanif's like this, Mama, they're still bowing. <laughs> and then she would go on and on and on. My wife would come back and subhanAllah, kids, they can say whatever they want, do whatever they want, or not say anything if they want, right? <laughs> All right, can I ask you guys one last question before this thing ends? No, I know. I, I want two more. No, one more question. Two more. One more question. Two more. Two more. I'll two ask more. you two questions. Everyone else, one more question. Is that fine? Yay, two more. Yes. If you can ask these parents to help your school, and these are the people that can help you with their donations, with their help. If you can ask them to help your school, what would you say to them? Anyone have to raise your hand? Yes. You can look at them because you're not looking at me this time. This is the last thing you get to say to them. Because they're the uh, people that can uh, help your school, inshallah, and give you that school that you can look up. Look up. You see that the university? That's the ultimate goal, inshallah. So you want their help. What are you going to ask them? Uh, Al-Huda is, is a school of Islam. So if you pay zakat to Al-Huda and donations, Al-Huda will will encourage everybody to become Muslim, then the Muslim population will become bigger. Mashallah. And your? If, if you pay zakat to uh, Al Huda school, uh -huh. uh, uh, Al Huda school will greatly appreciate your zakat. And uh, if if we could if we could and and anything that could repay you in the future, they would do that. Inshallah. So, for being up. I would like to say Jazakallah khair for everyone who stood up on stage. I know it's not easy. Is it hard being on stage? Yes. Yes. Is it hard when everyone's looking at you? No. No, yes. no you're comfortable. Yeah, I'm she's comfortable. comfortable. Now she's smiling. What's I'm smiling. <laughs> and you're smiling, alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, can we get takbir? Allahu Akbar. Takbir? Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar!
Just like you were being a wonderful audience. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Disgusting.